on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday. We are finally gonna handle this sand bed issue. I hope. So the plan is to get Nasarius snails. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. A couple of you guys recommended it down in the comments on what might help clean up my sand bed and just in general help the algae situation a bit. I've been on the hunt for these freaking snails and I can't find them. But I think we finally got them in somewhere. So I'm hoping that they'll have them when we get there. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on because we're posting new fish videos every single Friday. Also, make sure to check the link in the description for salted merch, fishing merch, fishing, you know, boating shirts, all that kind of stuff. Thank you to everyone who shopped during Cyber Weekend. We appreciate you guys. And if you still haven't gotten your merch, you can still use a 10% off code with YouTube 10 at checkout. So check that out. But this is why we're gonna get these snails. All this green here, I've had it, my, those just fell, I gotta pick them up, the frog spawns. So disregard that, but all this green, we gotta move this stuff around. I'm even getting a little bit of red cyano in there and a little bit more over here. So that's the plan. I really just wanna clean up the sand bed. I'm tired of the green floor, like it's, I don't like it. I don't like it, it's gotta go. Hoping that these snails will solve that issue. So, let's go pick somebody up. Just got to Beverly's and we're not really sure what's gonna happen I've been calling for legit like four days the lady that some people don't know what these snails are the other people say that they're back ordered the other people say they're not sure when they're getting them in and today the guy said they got them in but he thinks they put them in under a different name and uh, so we're not really sure if they're gonna happen or not. I hope they have them because this has been quite the hunt. Look at this cute decoration. Hi, Jason. Hey, hi. No puppies. Yeah, there's a little puppy. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a cute puppy. Hey, buddy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't usually pet the puppies in these things, but hi. Wow, this is a cute dog. Come on, puppies. Holy crap, this is a really cute puppy. Oh, look, I got fishing. Jason, Jason, they got some dead fish in. Fish, fish. They got fishing for you. The door, you're sleeping. Dang, they got a lot of fishies in. Guys, this is the goby that I was looking for. Look how big he is. He's not sifting any sand. He kind of looks fake. He hasn't moved. Hello? <laughs> Hello, buddy. Are you, are you alive? That guy doesn't look too good either. Hello? Whoa. These look very ancient. They look like historic fish from like, that you find very, very deep. Oh, I didn't even see this when he camouflaged in. <laughs> Holy crap, that's cool. Jason likes his wrasse. Wow. Yellow head wrasse. He's in a cage. And he's kind of cool looking. But why is he so expensive? Swiss guard basslet. I don't know. And he's also enclosed. Maybe he's hard to get. It's hard to catch. Moment of truth, Nisarius. They were down here before. Conks. They were down here somewhere, no? You found them? Oh, Nisarius. Are, are those them? Jason? They look like they're in the sand. This is what we need, guys. These are what's gonna take care of all my sand bed. Look at him, Jason. He's going to work through the sand. Look at him. In case I switch to a freshwater tank, we got some big old goldfish looking things over here. They have them, so that is good. We have got some snails. Now they just need to work, and we gotta figure out how many we're gonna put in. I think I'm just gonna get like five of the Nasaria snails. The sift fish, please. We got the goods. Are you excited, Jason? Me? Why would I be excited? because my tank is about to look a whole lot freaking better, hopefully. And a little brown paper bag lunch to, to take for school. We are back, we have got the goods in this little brown bag and we are about to put them in here. I'm not gonna drip acclimate this time, I'm just going to temp acclimate and hopefully they don't all die. So, um, I kind of messed up. Well, I mean, not really, but I guess I should have been clear. I wanted five. The guy originally got me three, and I was, I was walking to the front, I was like, oh, you got five, right? And he's like, oh no, it's three. I'm like, okay, yeah, I need five, sorry. So we had to go back, and then 
he put the other two in a separate bag. So I got two bags to uh, temp acclimate, but I'm just gonna stick them in there right now and put them in there for like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And I hope you got good ones. Oh yeah, they're alive. They're rowdy. Put those guys in there. Those guys in there. Hey, there they are. My $18 snails. Woo. I mean, at least they're all alive and moving. Oh yeah, those look like they're gonna freaking clean some sand, all right. That, that's a huge one. That one's real big. I'm gonna strategically place these. I'm gonna put like two over here, two over here, and then one in that red sino area. And you know, I'm hoping that they go to town. While we wait, why don't we take the leather out from behind the net and see if it's stuck. Oh, he's kind of like in, oh. Come on. No, no. Crap. The net is stuck to him. This is probably not ideal, but what if I hold him down? Sorry, guy. No! Alright, so that wasn't how that was supposed to go. I want him over here anyway, though. I think we've waited enough. I've destroyed enough stuff over here. Um, I think it's time to let him, like, go into the wild. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, make sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on. New fish videos every single Friday. Which one are we gonna grab here first? Let's do the three-packer. One. Let me just let me just, let me just do this one at a time. He's kind of small. I'm gonna put him in the sino area. There you go, buddy. Have a ball. He's already moving. Oh yeah, you freaking get that sand, boy. This guy's slippery. Ugh. Oh, this guy's going to town. He needs to come over here. He's gonna do some work. He's trying to get me. There you go, buddy. Oh yeah, this is amazing. This is amazing. Why didn't you guys recommend this freaking months ago? Look at him. <laughs> oh yeah, this is perfect. We're gonna put this little guy back in here so we can work on that part. Next, they're loving it. The only thing sticking up is his little freaking Tentacle thing. <laughs> Last one. Oh no, what is my hermit crab doing? You better leave him alone. The hermit's going on his way, it looks like. All right, so that actually went a lot better than expected. I don't, I, I don't know, I was expecting them, I guess, to like not move for a while and they all instantly just dug themselves in. Hopefully they stay dug in and they stay in that area where it's needed and don't go where it's not needed and then they just keep mixing all that stuff around. I don't know how much work they're gonna do in 24 hours, but just to give you guys a little something and see if they clean it up, we're gonna let them go for 24 hours and then I'm gonna check on them. That's it, I mean, there's nothing else I can really do today. We'll check in tomorrow and see if the sand issues are finally solved. See you tomorrow. And we're back. It has been a day and we got some good news and bad news. I'm gonna give you the bad news first. The bad news is that all the green algae on the sand bed is not gone. The good news is we have some slight improvement. Check it out. All right, so if you remember, this is where I dropped the big one in yesterday. You could see he kind of like moved around and then went this way a little bit and then it's just like he disappeared. Not really sure where he is. He's gone, oh look, this is my starfish though. Over here in the sino area, that spot's like a little bit lighter there, and I dropped him in there. It does look a little bit disturbed. It was more of like a like a bigger circle, and now it's kind of like just one clump right there. So I think that one's doing pretty good. Over here, it's a little plotch, splotchy. Let's check out this side. I think he's still there, right? There, it looks like. And then back here, the other one that we had back here, uh, yeah, I don't know where he went. He was a tiny one, and this corner is not looked too cleaned up. We're still doing pretty good in there, so that's good. I don't know if that's the goby. He, I saw him the other day coming right out here, and he would pick up a couple, a couple pebbles and, and swallow them. So I don't know if he's been working on this little area. I hope he has. 
And if he is, he's doing a great job. Keep it up, buddy. Finally, this area here, we dropped the guy in here and it looks like, again, he was smaller. There's a couple little spots that look better, but overall, nothing too crazy. We have a really bad patch here, but it is better. It's only been like a day, so hopefully you give him a couple days to warm up to the stuff and start moving and then we'll be good to go. Also, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I should leave them here? Or I was thinking of putting them here where this stick is right there and then they might get like some more flow. I don't know, is that a good idea or a bad idea? Drop a comment down below and let me know. Those, oh you can see the colors better from here. They're kind of green there. So those, moving up there for more light, more flow. Yay or nay? Yeah, so there you have it. Not the best, but not the worst. I am confident that these snails are going to handle the sand bed issues in my reef tank. Uh, this is probably what I've thought to be the best solution so far. We're in the right direction and the sand bed is on its way to being pristine condition again. These snails are gonna get me there. The battle of the sand bed continues. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We got new fish videos every single Friday. Also, check the link in the description for your assaulted merch, 10% off with code YouTube10. And, and, if you're into building stuff, or if you're from van life days, when I lived in a van full time for two years, make sure you tune in on Sunday at 12, I should probably know the time, right? Yeah, make sure you tune in Sundays at 12 Eastern, because there's a whole new series dropping called the 30 Day Van Build. So make sure you guys are here for it. Thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Later.